We get part right. We ready? We we ready, Thomas? Yes. All right. Hey, Coach. Uh, just thoughts after that. Uh, th those two games. Um, I know it's the first time y'all have dropped two first two games since 1996. So something that just isn't real common around these these parts. Yeah, I mean, this is an awful tough day. I mean, for us, we got off to such a great start with a five to one lead. Bryce goes out and, and loses command a little bit and uh, walks two guys, hits a guy that's about to get out of it. And just like that, we give up three two out runs and, and lost the momentum. They took a lot of pitches from him. <clears throat> Had to go to the bullpen and, and Xavier's bullpen flat out pitched our bullpen uh, to the tune of six to one. And that was the true difference in the game for us. They ate free base runners and <clears throat> our inability to get off the field. We gave up six two-out runs, and uh, again, we had some shots from an offensive standpoint, but we had no response once they grabbed the momentum. We were 0 for our last 10 with runners in scoring position in that first game, and uh, quick turnaround uh, in game two. Both of our pitchers did an outstanding job and gave us a shot, but you know we were able to, not able to get anything going from an offensive standpoint, and you know for us. We have a great collection of players. We had an awful tough day. Give Xavier an awful lot of credit. They played better than we did today. But for us, it's about finding the nine that play best together. And we're going to do that. And uh, Sun's going to come up tomorrow. And we've got an opportunity to respond at high noon. For, for Bryce Miller, I know you talked about command getting away from a little bit. How much of that is moving into that starter role and getting off the fastball, which y'all kind of started off and kind of mixing in uh, – the, the off-speed stuff second time around in the lineup? You well, know, Bryce has done an amazing job all fall and all of January in, in his preparation to start for us, and he has not shown any signs of that, and I would expect him not to show those signs again moving forward. He'll have the opportunity to start next weekend. He's been too good for the last eight months not to get that opportunity, I can assure you that. And then uh, you talked about the bullpen, but Mason Ornalis might have been the, the, the brightest spot of the pitching staff. Uh, in these two in these two games, uh, what you saw from him tonight? Oh, I'm very proud of him. He gave us a giant hold and gave us every opportunity to get a big hit. We had a shot there in the fifth inning with the bases loaded and one out, and we punch out and weren't able to cash in there and, and grab some momentum back from them. So uh, Mo did an outstanding job. Very proud of him today, as well as Dustin Sines. And then finally, uh, you have guys that, that kind of stepped in there at the end with Hunter Coleman, Bryce Baum, also Ty Coleman, who were key last year. How much is their absence just guys stepping up and, and, and beating them out? Or do, is that a, a shuffle of the lineup that we'll see um, moving forward? Yeah, you'll see some different pieces in the lineup again tomorrow. And, and, you know, certainly the guys that earned the opportunity to start today earned that. And, you know, some ta very talented players on the bench. But, um you know, the guys that were in the lineup today have earned that over the course of the fall and in the last three weeks of preseason practice. Thanks, Coach. Coach, did you notice anything different with the team today? Maybe their excitement level, nerves, anything like that because of, um, you know, they've been off the field for so long and, and the excitement of this particular opening day? Well, certainly everyone was excited. Both teams were excited and both teams were prepared to play. And, and for us, we got off to an amazing start and, uh, once Xavier punched back, we, we had no response the rest of the day. I felt like we get we were on our heels, and uh, you know. But again, we had some bright spots along the way, especially the two pitchers in game two. I was very proud of them. I mean, to give up two runs and uh, to get a loss for it was a tough deal. But you know, we've got a lot of great pieces offensively, defensively, and on the mound as well. And we're going to play a lot better tomorrow. I can promise you that. Thanks, Coach. Coach, you mentioned that a hot start. You scored five runs in the first two innings of the game. What changed? Well, we, we went out and walked two and hit another one. They loaded the bases, and we weren't able to get off the field. Bryce made a, a great effort to do that. We got two outs, and just like that, we're about to get off the field. We couldn't get off the field in game one. We gave up six runs with two outs, and, you know, that is a momentum. I mean, it just sucks the momentum out of your dugout. And for us not to get off the field late there in the eighth inning, when we had cut it to one run, uh, it, it took the wind out of our sails, certainly. And uh, offensively, what seemed to be the biggest issue in game two? 
Well, their pitching staff had a lot to do with it. those guys. Did a nice job. Their left-hander was was very talented. But for us, uh, it was I just seemed like there was a lot of guys trying to do it one swing at the bat rather than do it together. And and it felt like later on in the game, well, I guess we did load the bases there in the fifth. We just didn't put a ball in play and, and had a shot there late a couple of different times. We just couldn't get a big hit. Thank you. One, one more for me, Coach, before you go. Um, uh, especially in the first game, Brett Minich uh, really got things on a roll, had a real consistent game at the plate. Um, what, what, what did you like about him that, that kind of earned him that start in that first game and, and what he was able to do in that first game as well? Well, I was proud of Brett. I mean, he came ready to play and, and played with aggression and played with confidence and, and came off the bench and put a good swing on it late for us in, in game two. And, you know, he's a good player. And, you know, first time out, I was – I was very proud of his aggression and the way that he played. Thanks. All righty, we're good. Thanks again. Thank you, guys. We, Fire away, guys. Hey, Dustin. Uh, just hey, it's, something Mason. We'll... it's Mason. Oh, Mason. Sorry, I couldn't couldn't see. Uh, <laughs> give me one sec. Sorry. <laughs> I'll go ahead and get you started, Mason. Uh, really nice night for you on the mound. What pitches were working for you uh, out there? Uh, my fastball and changeup, uh, Chief called a really great game. Taylor was great behind the dish, doing the best he can to give me strikes. And, uh, yeah, just my fastball and changeup, just changing up speeds and just getting them off balance. I think those two pitches were really working well for me and just keeping them off the plate and just changing speeds. Coming into the season, did they uh, tell you what your defined role in this pitching staff will be? Uh, in the fall, these past couple of weeks, I would alternate from coming in relief to starting. But uh, – me and Coach Shitters had a talk, and we agreed that coming out of the bullpen uh, would be a would make a, make our bullpen better, and then give us a chance to win each and every game. So we agreed that coming out the pen, I would fulfill my role and give everything I got for as long as I need to come in after any of the starters and just get my job done. Thank you. With uh, with how much that your uh, you know guys like Bryce and and Dustin coming in there. Um, with, with some hard fastballs, how much did you feel like your, your change up your off speed stuff that really topped out their low seventies offered that kind of change of pace that really kept them um, on their heels? Oh yeah. Uh, Bryce and Dustin, they're top tier pitchers. They're going to be great for us all season long. And uh, what they bring to the table is their velocity, mixing speed, mixing pitches. And uh, when I come in, I just hope to hit my spots, not worried about my velocity and just, change pitches, change speeds, and uh, just focus on what I can control. And I hope to come in, finish the job they started. Is there some frustrations when, like you and Dustin get out there, you throw a, a, a two-run game, and then just the offense, offense can't get it going to, to, to pull out the win? No, nah, this whole pitching staff can say we trust our offense from one to nine, even when the guys that come in, we have a very talented group and each guy that comes in, we know they can hit the ball hard, put the ball in play. So I wouldn't say it's frustrated. We're just, we have, we have trust in this team. And then Dustin pitched, he pitched great tonight. I mean, there's nothing to be down about, but like, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow and this offense, we're going to turn it around tomorrow. Thanks. Mason, for you guys as players, was there any more excitement, any more nerves because this it's been so long since you played and, and this was a different kind of opening day? Oh, yeah. It was really different, but uh, we were all prepared. We were all excited. Now season got taken away. So this day has been marked on the calendar for a while, and then it's, we've been looking forward to it ever since last March. And uh, we, were, we were prepared. We were, Xavier was a great team. We knew what we were getting coming in. But uh, I think we'll be ready tomorrow. We were, we were prepared well. You mentioned being ready for tomorrow. Do you think the nerves and the ex and things can be a little bit more tame because you kind of have two games under your belt now and, and it, it's just kind of getting in the flow of things? I think so. Getting 18 innings in today, going through their lineup and seeing what they have, I think 
tomorrow we can we can be a little more prepared, I guess. But either way, John and Childress are going to pitch a great game. I know he will. And whoever's going to come after him is going to going to be great. And whoever's starting nine tomorrow, we have trust in the defense behind us and in the lineup. Thank you. All righty, thanks for giggling. Thanks, guys. We got Ray Alejo. Hey Ray, uh, the uh, started y'all started out uh, bats pretty hot there in the first game. Things kind of slowed down there after the first and second inning. Um, what was kind of the change that uh, y'all were seeing with what they were doing pitching wise that basically after the second inning kind of slowed stuff down for y'all? You know, their pitchers they did a great job. They did what they needed to do, and I think as an offense we learned a lot about ourselves. And I think some of the young guys kind of had the pregame jitters, the opening day jitters, but. There's no excuses there. It's just that we got to go out there and attack more tomorrow. What what can you do, or what's the the focus uh, with runners in scoring position moving forward? Because I know that was a little bit of a, a, a not so hot spot for y'all to, uh, today. Yeah, I think I think Xavier got the big hits when they needed them. I think we just came up short. We got the hits, and we had the guys on. We had pressure on the defense, and we just didn't get the hits when they needed to come. And I think. Uh, it's, it's a long season. You have 56 games. I've been there. I've done that. And, and you just got to, you got to learn to trust it and that th those hits will come. And then on, I guess a little bit of a brighter note, what was it like having the uh, section 12 out there, right in, right in your, uh, your backyard with all the students out there? Yeah, it was, it was definitely a different vibe. Um, usually I can't really hear from the outfield what the guys are yelling and stuff. So it's kind of funny to hear some of the things they have to say, but it's, it's kind of nice to have uh, fans around the whole stadium. Ray, you mentioned some of the jitters that, that maybe were there for the younger guys. Do you think it'll be a lot more calm, maybe maybe the right word more, because they kind of have 18 innings under their belt now? Yeah, I think, I mean, this is my sixth year doing it, so I kind of have learned how to control the nervousness. But I think some of the guys, are, they get so excited, they don't realize their own talents. And I think once they learn to trust their abilities and trust their talents, and we'll be able to go out there and perform at a, at a higher level than we did today. And I think – I think it'll start to show it throughout the season once guys get more comfortable at the plate and on defense and even guys on the mound. With the experience that you have of your opening days to draw on, was this one completely different than anything you've been through because of the way last season ended? Yeah, well, with that and then consider we got snow, it was a completely different environment. I mean, well, I don't know the last time I saw snow. I mean, looking into today, we had a double header, which, you know, it's going to be a long day. And um, I was just excited to be able to get back on the field. I know it didn't, it didn't go the way we wanted to, but I think it's take that as a learning step as, as opposed to looking at the negatives. And I think we can learn from this and, and take that and move forward. Thank you. Is it a weird feeling? I know with, with programs like A&M, usually you start out the season and, and, and on paper, opening day, you're the stronger team. Is it a weird feeling coming out, losing not only the first game, but the first two games on what is opening day? And is that, kind of put a little bit of more fire under 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 you to, to come back tomorrow? Yeah, I think, honestly, it could have been a good thing for us. I mean, you're going to lose games. It's going to happen. Now that it happened in the first night, that's not what you want. But I think learning from it and having this learning experience early on in the season could be better off for us later on in the year. Thank you. All right, that's it, everybody. Thank you.